Okay, what you're looking at is the ARP 2600. And we're gonna explore a really cool functionality that the ARP 2600 possesses that we haven't looked at. We've looked at the basic stuff like the oscillators and the filters and et cetera, but there's a function on here we haven't examined that is a lot of fun. And here, I think I will just demonstrate it right now. Here is me talking uh, in regard to the ARP 2600 while the ARP 2600 is playing itself. Okay. And how's that happening? Let me tell you. Uh, what you just heard is the envelope follower. What's happening is I have plugged this microphone into uh, the preamplifier. And the preamplifier is normaled, internally wired, to the envelope follower. And what the envelope follower does is it converts amplitude into voltage. So the louder a signal that's fed into it, the more voltage it outputs. And since voltage controls the synthesizer, that means that with the volume of whatever you input, you are able to control voltage, which will control some other part of the modular synthesizer. So I've taken the output from this and I've plugged it into the multiple. What the multiple does is it takes whatever you plug into it uh, and then distributes it to whatever else you plug into it. So I have plugged the output of the envelope follower into the multiple. Now these are all outputs going to various parts of the synthesizer so that the voltage being generated by the envelope follower by the envelope follower can be distributed in the way that you want in the amount that you will want to the function that you want. In this case I've directed it to voltage controlled oscillator one, voltage controlled oscillator two, which have different settings as you can see, and then the filter cutoff point of the filter, which is currently all the way closed. But of course, when we apply the voltage of the you know, amplitude of my voice, it goes and it opens the filter because as the voltage rises, the filter opens. As the voltage decreases, the filter closes. Same with the pitch of these oscillators. Here, I'll demonstrate again. Oh, 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 oh. Now, of course, um, you can hear me raising in pitch, and it's raising in pitch too, but we have a tendency as humans to um, raise in pitch as we get louder, unfortunately. So that's what you're hearing me doing. And theoretically, well, not theoretically, uh, if I just held the same pitch, uh, this thing would still rise because it's not following my pitch. It's not tracking the pitch. It is just following the amplitude, the loudness of my voice. And of course that can be controlled by the slider. So we can turn it down so it does less and the output has less of an effect uh, using that controller. But uh, yeah, obviously we wanna have fun with it so we'll keep it high. Um, and then you can hear these two different oscillators doing different pitches. Uh, <laughs> This is so weird. Uh, the two different oscillators doing two different pitches uh, because of the settings that I've set that to. And the filter is doing its own thing. We can add resonance and it'll get more resonated. <laughs> we can add resonance and it will get, you know, this sounding. Um, but in general, this is what the envelope follower does. Amplitude converted to voltage and that voltage can be applied to whatever has a voltage input, which is everything. And obviously, there are some real expressive and experimental and fun ways that this could be applied uh, because it doesn't have to be a voice that's the input. It could be drums. It could be anything, sounds, birds, dogs, cats, whatever. Um, so that is the envelope follower on the ARP 2600.